The five piece modern dining table set from Basenji is perfect for your little breakfast nook. A number of the features are here is that it's sturdy with stable construction. They use table legs and stool legs made of heavy duty steel to ensure sturdiness and durability. This table is definitely meant for space saving as well as a compact design. The surface is veneer wood that's really well done and high quality, allowing you to assemble and clean very easily. What's up my pony? It was Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're gonna be going over this five piece dining table set from the folks at Basenji. Before we jump into it though, I wanted to let you guys know that they did send this to me to review to put it together to show you this tutorial and they also sponsored this video. With that said, down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing availability. Right now they do have a coupon going on so please consider checking that out. With that said, we're gonna show you how to set this up step by step going through in great detail how to do this. With that said, let's go ahead and uh, cue that music. Okay, so what I like to do first here is uh, set out all the different pieces uh, arranged by alphabetical order and uh, numerical order. That way I know where everything's at, throw away all the trash, throw away all the, the padding here, and then jump right into the, uh, the build. There's four basic steps to assemble a table, and then there's six steps to assemble the chairs. It comes with all the hardware, screws, and allen wrench that you need to tighten and fasten it and even a part list to, uh, to refer to. The first step is assembling the legs. There's two legs that you gotta set together. You use D, which is the, uh, the main rails, and then the cross beams is C and B. B being at the top, C being at the bottom. C um, has much thinner rods than B. Second step is uh, going to be setting up the rubber stoppers G and the foot pad H. So you got these little rubber stoppers, they're going to go on the top here. On both of these legs, and then you're going to do the foot pads down below. Make sure you don't put the foot pads where D is, where B is. Now that you got the rubber stoppers on, we're going to be doing the foot pads. There's a kind of a two step process here. You've got the foot pads and then you got this, the screwed uh, rubber stoppers here that allow it to you know, go nicely on the floor without scratching your linoleum or your, your wood or whatever, your tile. Now that you've got the feet in here, you can screw in the rubber pad. If you want, you can have it go all the way through. I don't have a hammer on me. I don't think it's a big deal. Just screw these right on here. And get ready for step three. All right, uh, I found it easiest to push down um, these rubber stops here by putting all my pressure here from this bar and this bar. You don't want to do it from here because you may bend it. Uh, but as you can see here, as I push down on it from these sides, it should be able to go in with enough pressure and weight. And 
There we go. Okay, step three here is gonna require you to put the crossbars and the supporting beam here on the bottom. That's gonna be C, and you're gonna be using the P-screws, and then it's gonna be using uh, the large, I believe it's F here up top with the Q-screws. Process is just as simple. You put the you know, P-screw in there. You can hand screw it all the way down until you need it taut. Once you do that, you can get it tight. Pretty straightforward here. Sometimes here, folks, with these uh, these pieces, you may need to check the holes to make sure that it's uh, you know clear. There was some plastic here. I just went in and picked it off with the, the screw, and it should be fine. Let's go ahead now and set it in. Pretty straightforward. It's kind of a balancing act here. Make sure that you can get it in, but you can hand screw it tight for the first bit. Once you get it in, then you can just go ahead and uh, screw the rest of it in. Pretty straightforward. But this is probably the most tricky part of it because you gotta do the balancing act kind of a thing. And you may have these screws, you know, come loose. So just make sure that once you get it all set, you re-screw, re-tighten all of your other screws up. Okay, we're ready to move on to the uh, the next part, which is placing these crossbars across it. And the best way to do it here is to have the hooks facing up and in. This is gonna give you your most amount of structure, your most amount of support here. So feed them into the hole first, and then hand screw them in second to get that part in. so you can evenly tighten it together, otherwise you're not gonna get it square. So we've got the crossbars, we've got the supporting bar set up here, and uh, I, I would recommend checking uh, for your, your table to be square. Your, the next set is obviously putting the, the, the wood panel on, but uh, you wanna make sure that you've got it square and it's not rocking, and to do that, you kinda just push on it. You can uh, stretch one leg, stretch the other, but to me, uh, this is good. Once the weight gets on here, it shouldn't rock. Otherwise, what you can do is you can loosen one side or the other to make sure that it's square. Okay, the next step is recommended that you set the wood down and then put it upside down. So you're gonna wanna have the screw holes facing up and then you're gonna flip over the whole unit to be able to fasten it down. That's the easiest way to do it. Careful when you're flipping it that you don't scratch. You wanna align the holes just like so. And that's where you're gonna be fastening it. Alrighty, I'm gonna go in and screw them in. Should be able to hand. table let's go ahead and flip it over show you what that looks like all right there it is 
Beautiful veneer, looks like walnut. I love the spacing here, makes it fun. If you feel like it's a, a little wobbly here, you can go back in and tighten it, but this uh, seems sturdy enough. Let's go ahead and move on now to the chairs. Okay, they don't make the distinction here, but just looking at this and the manufacturing of it, you do not wanna have the screw heads resting on the top surface here because the wood is going to be placed on top and you want it to go flush. So you don't want the small holes to push up against it like this, which is gonna create a barrier between it. So what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the holes, you wanna make sure that the screws are placed in the hole like this, and then this is where it's gonna be sitting on top, just like that. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to screw it in because you've got to screw through this little hole, but you should be able to do it with some amount of finesse. Okay, step three, we're gonna be uh, reinforcing the legs here with uh, the small P on each side, and then that's gonna give you a hole here on each side to do the crossbar. So you kinda just set it up. It uses the L. This is really, really stubby piece here. Um, it's gonna allow holes here to be able to connect uh, crossbar here. So you're gonna just set it up. You get the O. You get the P screws, you line it up, and then uh, screw it together. Step four is the crossbar. M, same kind of thing, place it in there, you're going to be connecting L to M, <clears throat> okay, last step here, placing upside down the, the seat and screwing it in with all the smaller screws, just like you did with the table face. You're lining up these screws upside down, it's very simple. You can hand screw it as tight as you can, and then uh, once you're done, you just make it tighter with the Allen wrench. Okay, we're almost done here. Last step is putting on these uh, rubber pads on the bottom. You gotta just push them on. Be careful, don't, don't pinch yourself. I've done that before. Very easy to just push on here. And then you basically just rinse and repeat. You're gonna do that three more times to set up all of the stools. It's great. Perfect seat, perfect stool. Well, Pongios, that about does it here. This is the five piece table set by Basenji. Uh, I think it's definitely worth your buck. It's very high quality and it sits really high. I'm 6'2 and I'm really comfortable here in these seats. I like that there's a footstool here down by your feet. I also like that the bar stools are right nice and sturdy. The installation took me about two hours. It does say 30 minutes, but that was mainly because I was using a tool that took forever. If you have a a drill and you've got the right Allen wrench side size, it's gonna be able to screw much quicker. Nonetheless, I didn't have any problems, didn't hurt my fingers. Uh, there is some residue, some you know manufacturing dust that is uh, carried over 
that isn't toxic, but is something to note. So you probably should use gloves. Other than that, I think it's a fantastic surface. We're gonna put this here in a little nook, a little breakfast nook and have, you know, when we're inviting guests over, have extra storage and all that good stuff. With that said, guys, please consider checking out the description down below for a coupon for the pricing and availability. This is a sponsored video and this was provided to me. If you like this content, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks so much for watching. I'm, uh, I'm going to eat some lunch now.